I mean, I like unmovable things. Yeah. So it's not, um, I, it's not surprising to me that I would like the Bible just because I like things that, I like change, but I like that there, there, there is a truth or something that, that's been around for a long time mm -hmm. that we can always refer to. Yeah. When it comes to religion, um, I think it finds you, I don't know necessarily that you go and find it. Mm -hmm. I can't speak for everyone, but there's something about it, it finding you naturally mm -hmm. that I think that has at least helped me. So while I do have a, without religious text, I still do have a deep connection with God, is a personal connection with God. But I do think that the Bible creates structure and gives you something to um, model. Everybody, welcome back to our channel. So one of our subscri um, subscribers wrote a, a comment and asked us to listen to Paul Harvey's letter. Letter from God. Could we listen to the um, Paul Harvey when he, when he said, if I were the devil, mm -hmm. if you guys remember that video, I'll put a link it above if you guys haven't seen that one. Um, and he has another, he has several of these things apparently, right? Because he was a radio mm -hmm. broadcaster. Um, and so anyways, and so this guy wants us to listen to the letter from God one. So we're going to listen to that right now. I found it, and we're going to take a gander of, at that. I actually have not even heard this yet. From now on, I'm quoting an open letter from God. My dear children, and believe me, that is all of you, I consider myself a pretty patient guy. I mean, look at the Grand Canyon. It took millions of years to get it right. And about evolution, boy, nothing is slower than designing that whole Darwinian thing to take place, cell by cell and gene by gene. And I have been patient through your fashions, your civilizations, wars and schemes, and the countless ways that you take me for granted until you get yourselves into big trouble again and again. I want to let you know about some of the things that started ticking me off. First of all, your religious rivalries are driving me up a wall. Enough already. Let's get one thing straight. These are your religions, not mine. I'm the whole enchilada. I'm beyond them all. Every one of your religions claims that there's only one of me, which, by the way, is absolutely true, but in the very next breath, each religion claims that it's my favorite one, and each claims its Bible was written personally by me, and that all of the other Bibles are man-made. Oh, me. How do I ever begin to put a stop to such complicated nonsense? All right. Listen up now. I am your father and mother. And I don't play favorites among my children. Also, I hate to break it to you, but I don't write. My long hand is awful, and I've always been more of a doer anyway. So all of your books, including those Bibles, were written by men and women. They were inspired men and women. They were remarkable people. But they also made mistakes here and there. And I made sure of that so that you would never trust a written word rather than your own living heart. You see, one human being, to me, even a bum on the street, is worth more than all of the holy books in the world. That's just the kind of a guy I am. My spirit is not an historical thing. It's alive right now, right now, as fresh as your next breath. Holy books and religious rites are sacred and powerful, but they are not more so than the least of you. They were only meant to steer you in the right direction, not to keep you arguing with each other, and certainly not to keep you from trusting your own personal connection with me. Which brings me to my next point about your nonsense. You act like I... The, um, holy books. I know a lot of people um, feel that the Bible is the word mm -hmm. of God, the direct direct word of God. Um, so I'm sure that can be... Yeah. I'm sure he'll get debated with... I mean, I'm sure he got debated with that one. I mean, everybody's religion means something to them. So It does, yeah. It really just depends, but I mean... I do agree. I mean, it's, it's, it's meant to lead you in the right direction. Yeah, He's that's the point. That. That's the point. You get some type of obedience there. Mm -hmm. And discipline. Mm -hmm. And we have we don't have that. What we have now is chaos. Mm -hmm. It has to be some kind of order. Okay? Doesn't mean you're not. Doesn't mean you're not going to step out of line. Doesn't mean you're, gonna, you're not going to mess up every whatever. Mm -hmm. But it means that you are conscious of your decisions and your choices. Mm -hmm. You know. And I believe that the Bible will lead you. You know. Yeah. It's there to 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 kind of keep you in order in that way, but for your own good. I need you and your religions to stick up for me or win souls. For my sake, please don't do me any favors. I can stand quite well on my own, thank you. I don't need you to defend me. I don't need constant credit. I just want you to be good to each other. 
And another thing, I don't get all worked up over money or politics, so stop dragging my name into your dramas. For example, I swear to me that I never threatened Oral Roberts. I, I never rode in any of Rajneesh's Rolls Royces, and I never told Pat Robertson to run for president. And I have never ever... Have you ever seen that? Have you guys ever seen Wild 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 Country? He said Rajneesh and his Rolls 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 Royces. If you guys have not seen the documentary Wild Wild Country, I don't even know what to tell you. You need to go to Netflix and watch that entire documentary and you won't even believe it. Never had a conversation with Jim Baker or Jerry Falwell or Jimmy Swigert. Of course, come Judgment Day, I certainly intend to. Now, the thing is, I want you to stop thinking of religion as some sort of a loyalty pledge to me. The true purpose of your religions is so that you can become more aware of me, not the other way around. Believe me, I know you already. I know what's in each of your hearts. And I love you anyway with no strings attached. So lighten up and enjoy me. That's what religion's best for. What you seem to forget is how mysterious I am. You look at the petty differences in your scriptures and you say, well... If this is the truth, then that can't be. But instead of trying to figure out my paradoxes and unfathomable nature, which, by the way, you never will, why not open your hearts to the simple common threads of every religion? You know what I'm talking about. Play nice with each other. Love and respect everyone. Be kind. Even when life is scary or confusing, take courage and be of good cheer, for I'm always with you. And learn how to be quiet so that you can hear my still, small voice. I don't like to shout. Leave the world a better place by living your life with dignity and gracefulness. For you are my own child. Hold back nothing from life. For the parts of you that can die surely will, and the parts that can't won't. So don't worry. Be happy. I stole that last line from Bobby McFerrin. But who gave it to him in the first place? Simple stuff now. Why do you keep making it so complicated? It's like you're always looking for an excuse to be upset. And I am very tired of your main excuse. Do you think I care whether you call me God or Yahweh or Jehovah, Allah, Wakatonka, Brahma, Father, Mother, even the void of Nirvana? Do you think I care which of my special children you feel closest to? Jesus, Mary, Buddha, Krishna, Muhammad, or any of the others? You can call me and my special ones any name you choose, if only you will go about my business of loving one another as I love you. How can you keep neglecting something so simple? No, I am not telling you to abandon your religions. Enjoy your religions. Honor them. Learn from them just as you should enjoy, honor, and learn from your parents. But do you walk around telling everyone that your parents are better than theirs? Your religion, like your parents, may always have the most special place in your heart. I don't mind that at all. And I don't want you to combine all of the great traditions into one big mess. Each religion is unique for a reason. Each has a unique style so that people can find the best path for themselves. But my special children the ones that your religions revolve around, all live in the same place in my heart. And they get along perfectly, I assure you. The clergy must stop creating a myth of sibling rivalry where there is none. My blessed children of Earth, the world has grown too small for your pervasive religious bigotries and confusion. The whole planet is now connected by air travel, satellite dishes, telephones, fax machines, rock concerts, diseases, and mutual needs and concerns. Get with the program. If you really want to help me celebrate the birthday of my son Jesus, then commit yourselves to figuring out how to feed your hungry and clothe your naked and protect your abused and shelter your poor. And just as important, make your own everyday life a shining example of kindness and good humor. I've given you all of the resources you need if only you abandon your fear of each other and begin living and loving and laughing together. Finally, my children everywhere, remember whose birthday you honor on what you call Christmas Day, December 25, and the fearlessness with which he chose to live and die. 
As I love him, so do I love each of you. Now, I am not really ticked off. Not really. I just wanted to grab your attention because I hate to see you suffer. But I gave you free will. So what can I do now other than try to influence you through reason, persuasion, and a little old-fashioned guilt and manipulation? After all, you know, I am the original Jewish mother. I just want you to be happy. And I'll sit in the dark. I really am. Indeed, I swear, with you, always, always, trust in me. Your one and only God. You know, people often ask us, ask us, and we've done a couple of videos on religion in general, mm -hmm. um, but people ask, oh, you know, um, what are you guys' thoughts on on God and religion? Like, where, where do you guys stand on that? You know, and for them to say, for a long time in my life, I've always, like, I've never been into the Bible. Like, I, I just, it was clear, I just wasn't, right? Um, and I think that, like, I've always felt that I've had a connection through God without having religious religious text. And on a, I have two ways to think about this, but on one hand, I still do believe that and always will believe that. But I do think that um, me kind of getting into the Bible now and starting to understand it, and it's given me more structure, to be honest with you. And I didn't think that it would have done, it would have, it would have did that before. Yeah. You know, I never really thought of it that way. But I do think that when it comes to religion, um, I think it finds you. I don't know necessarily that you go and find it. It comes to you at certain times. Maybe for some people, you know, you go find it and then you, you know, mm -hmm. I can't speak for everyone, but there's something about it, it finding you naturally mm -hmm. that I think that it has at least helped me. Um, you know, so while I do have a, without religious text, I still do have a deep connection with God, is a personal connection with God. But I do think that the Bible creates structure and gives you something to um, model, yeah. you know, model off of, you know. So that's how I kind of feel about religion. When people ask us, when people ask us that, I'm always like, well, you know, you guys have seen our journey with, we've been on this show for a little while now. And, mm -hmm. you know, we've had different stages in our lives. And, you know, this is um, not really a stage for me. It kind of mm -hmm. just is my way now, you know. I mean, I like unmovable things. Yeah. So it's not... Um... I, it's not surprising to me that I would like the Bible just because I, I like things that don't I, I like things that I like change but I like that there, there, there is a truth or something that that's been around for a long time mm -hmm. that we can always refer to yeah because you know today everyone just believes in self yeah we self-worship ourselves yeah and we've had a very chaotic world because mm -hmm. we don't believe in anything but ourselves mm -hmm. even Paul Harvey was saying this saying that you know don't think about your religion well some people's religion does mean something to them mm -hmm. you know what I mean and also when he was saying you know it's all man-made and mm -hmm. right well so is this video mm -hmm. yeah. this is a man this isn't God yeah this is Paul Harvey talking yeah so you can't always believe him either right you know what I'm saying so to me I do believe that is it is an inner working in your heart yeah. So where you, I know, I do know that I do think that you know the Bible is really written on your heart and and it guided me there, but I like something. I like when there is just a truth mm -hmm. that really the the I think the the greatest part about the Bible is that it's over two thousand years old, but yet everything is still relevant. Mm -hmm. So that it really shows that we don't change. Yeah. As much as we think we do. Yeah. Our essence, what we are, really. Because to me, like we're talking, when we're talking about feminists, those things are things you have to try to be. Right. It's not what you are. Mm -hmm. If we were all just being what we kind of are, are naturally, yeah. you know what I mean? Then then we would see it more clearly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I think that because of raising and race and all of these things that we humans make mm -hmm. a bigger deal than it really is, then then we get separated and we get into our own little corners mm -hmm. and everything. But you're never going to tell a Muslim that that their God is or like the Quran is just a book. Of, you know, wrong, yeah. right, it's just a book. Yeah, right. it, it, no one's going to tell a true Christian Christ that the Bible is just a book. Either, yeah. right. And so I think that it is personal to yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yes. And I it's helped me tremendously. Right. So I don't, 
I think people, you know, also I think that people are, have, we talked about this in the last episode, um, or the last show we did, but I think people are, I think people are moving away from God more, and I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, just like the society and the way it is right mm -hmm. now, but also outside of that part, I don't, I think the people's nature is, is that they kind of want to rebel against something, right? Mm -hmm. They don't really want to do the work. You know what I mean? They mm -hmm. kind of want, like, so a lot of people want the easy road, whatever. And I think what happens with holy books in general, mm -hmm. I'm not just Christian, not just, you know, the Bible, I'm not just holy books in general, they do create this type of structure, this kind of obedience, um, this discipline mm -hmm. is in there, you know, accompanied by love and, you know, giving charity, you know, this type of thing too. But I think people just don't like accountability mm -hmm. and I don't think they like um, acknowledging like their faults or mm -hmm. their flaws you know what I mean I, and I, so I think that when you when you are resisting God I do think in a lot of ways you are kind of resisting the parts of you you just don't want to yeah. you know you don't want to to visit so when I think about like the Bible and think about God I, I that's that's my my first thought is is that people who don't um, believe in God or you know what I mean it's I, I just I feel like they're those types of people don't have accountability for their lives and they kind of want this kind of like free flowing mm -hmm. free spirit pie in the sky and the Bible does attitude. explain that it explains the fact mm -hmm. of the fall yeah. and the fact that we are we, we are mostly not good yeah I mean, we have to be taught to be good mm -hmm. it's not something that we, we can let a bunch of kids just be with themselves they'll lie they'll steal they'll yeah. do anything because they don't have any anything to keep them um grounded mm -hmm. you know what i mean that's why your parents yeah right. parents are supposed to do that it's supposed to teach you right from wrong mm -hmm. otherwise you'll just be mostly wrong and you'll just be kind of chaotic mm -hmm. and so that's that i think that that the bible explains a lot to me mm -hmm. and it, it rings true mm -hmm. in a lot of ways you know what i mean and, and almost every, and everything me but i mean mm -hmm. again i agree what he's saying i guess to a point well, I agree with I agree with what he's saying, but the only the only part that I think that I I don't say I don't even know if I'm going to disagree, but I guess it would be disagree mm -hmm. is the is the part where he's saying where he's suggesting that people's holy books are not like it's good to have it, but you know it is just a book mm -hmm. like that that part I think it could be. I don't know. I don't know if I, I. I don't agree with the wording of what he's mm -hmm. saying that because I. I don't. I think that a lot with a lot of religious people, it's not just a book. Like it literally, mm -hmm. it's not just pages you're turning. It's like this is the guide. This I mean, even that's what I'm saying. To you know suggest I mean? though that that yeah. everybody yeah. that writes anything, those are people, and you're supposed to follow me, yeah. God, right? Would be the whole point of this whole yeah. video because this isn't God talking. This is Paul Harvey Paul, talking. Yeah. So why should we believe that? Right. Because you said it. Mm -hmm. Where the the general sense of religion is to be good, um, you know, to accountability, mm -hmm. you know, it's structure, you know, uh, you know, living your life right, treating mm -hmm. people well, you know, mo your mother and father, you know, this it, it seems to be all kind of like the same thing. It's just this different um, worships and things like mm -hmm. that, you know. So. We're all trying to just, um, you know, believe there's one God, right? We're all trying to believe in just in that one God mm -hmm. and reach that one God. But I don't know. I don't. I think it's it's so com. It's I think it's so com. Not complicated. I think it's mm -hmm. complex. I don't think it's complicated. Like he said that too. He said it's right. not complicated. It really isn't. It's not. Well, really, I mean, like a lot of people, like he complex. said, when he talked about Christmas, he said, you know, remember what my birthday is all about and everything. I was like, yeah, but Muslims don't. Yeah, but Muslims Muslim don't. don't see Jesus Christ. Yeah. as you're speaking you know as a Christian. You're speaking as a Christian, Christian. again. You know, yeah. what I mean? it's because you must be. Yeah. I don't know what his religious background is, but you know, a Jewish people do mm -hmm. not believe that he is the Messiah. Mm -hmm. So they are different, mm -hmm. in that it depends yeah. on and, and coming from the you know coming from what you believe mm -hmm. who the Messiah is. Yeah, you know what I mean, and the Triune God. You know what I mean. So to me. Um, I guess I don't agree because I guess I don't agree a lot because I'm thinking, well, you you sound more Christian than you do Muslim or Jewish. Yeah, he's great. I mean, he has to be. I mean, I, I so for you to bring around. up the December 25th, yeah. even though the Muslims do acknowledge Jesus and mm -hmm. so do, um, but the uh, you know the Muslims do acknowledge Jesus, mm -hmm. but they don't see him as the the, the the Messiah. Mm -hmm. 
And, and neither so, do the Jewish people. Yeah. So to me, those religions are not based in the same way. Mm -hmm. They are based in very different ways because yeah. they think differently. Right. You know what I mean? And we can see that in the way that we are. But the, the principles. Yeah. I, I mean. But the principles of religion in general, all mm -hmm. religions, the 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 principles are what is to me one of the most important things because you're supposed to live your life a certain way in order to have the a a good outcome mm -hmm. or not even that a good outcome but just um um a, a, a truthful honest life that's kind of like the underlying idea here right is to have a, a truthful very honest life and um mm -hmm. you know to treat people well and do all these things right mm -hmm. and and I think that I don't know I, I feel like it's it's good to have a guide because some people mm -hmm. are look there are people who are so lost that are trying to do this thing on their find you know get to know God and, and and believe in God and try to do it all on their own and I do think that like for instance for Christians I think the Bible would would be a help mm -hmm. to someone like that so, because if you're somebody you know, like I don't believe in abortion mm -hmm. yeah religiously speaking I don't I don't yeah you know what I mean but there are some people who are going to agree with abortion even mm -hmm. though they're religious. Yeah. So Biden does. Nancy Pelosi does. Right. All of these Christians that believe in abortion. Yeah. I don't well, get that. So called you know what I mean? so called Christians. Right. Like <laughs> but I mean, so do a lot just like mm -hmm. the what's his name? The the um, guy who took over Martin Luther King's church. Yeah. Who's now a, a politician. He's mm -hmm. all I'm the pastor of that What's his name? I forget his name. Ward, Ward, yeah, um Warnock. Warnock. Yeah. I'm the what do you say? I'm the the pro life pastor. It's just like, how can that be? How can like, that be? This is, this is what I mean. There's like, there False is, prophets. this is what bothers yeah. me about today is that there is no, there is no truth anymore. Mm -hmm. There's just this sort of passive mm -hmm. way of acting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We'll all sit there and, you know, you know, modesty is in the Bible. Yet mm -hmm. everybody's taking half naked pictures mm -hmm. of themselves and calling themselves Christians. Yeah. You know what I mean? Vanity's on the rise. Exploiting yeah. our finances and our money. Right. When again, we're also, you know, there's idolatry. Yeah. There's, there's things to me that, the Bible just, to me, mm -hmm. helps ground mm -hmm. and makes sense. Yeah. And then once you know and you start to read it, then we can't go and start doing those things yes. again. And to me, um, that that's what faith is to me. Well, so even like on a personal note, you know, when I, you know, wasn't reading the Bible and wasn't mm -hmm. into, you know, religion, organized religion, I should yeah. say. It wasn't into organized religion. Um, I can see now, like in retrospect, like I can see now where had I had that structure that guide that something mm -hmm. that you can kind of hold and say and and and, and help you you know what i mean mm -hmm. i could see now where that would have helped me then and maybe i would have took different turns maybe not but i'm just saying that it seems to me that if i had that type of discipline and understanding and true belief i think that the course of my life would have been a bit different because mm -hmm. I was trying to do everything. The thing is that I was leaning on my own understanding of how to live life, mm -hmm. right? And um, when you do that, a lot of times you're not wanting to look at the flaws in yourself. You're not wanting to admit some things. Mm -hmm. You're not really living the most honest life you could be living. You know what I mean? You're not doing, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, you could be, I wasn't a horrible person, but I'm just saying that I, I, there were things where I could, were preventative that I didn't prevent, and I think mm -hmm. it's because I didn't have structure. I had my mom, who, you know, was a wonderful mom, but, you know, she's human yeah, being. She's a human being, and you have to, you know, find these things on your own, too, in some ways. And I, I think mean, that if I had that, I would have been, mm -hmm. you know... I mean, God has become the center of my life. So, to mm -hmm. me, things will change, mm -hmm. and things I just can't do anymore yeah. because I know better. And yeah, that. So, right. when we even talk about politics, mm -hmm. it will change you politically. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. So, 100%. I mean, I will not say, I'm, I, I will agree with him that mm -hmm. either way, you know what I mean? But what I'm saying is that the platforms, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to vote for stuff that doesn't go along with mm -hmm. my values. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. so that's something I think John MacArthur, the, the popular um, pastor, mm -hmm. said, I mean, yeah, I mean, I can't vote for that. I'm a right. pastor. I can't vote for abortion. Mm -hmm. I can't vote for all this, you know, racial stuff and mm -hmm. all this. Right, right. Because in the Bible, that really is prohibited. Right. You know what I mean? And so he can't go out here and preach mm -hmm. and then tell everybody, read the Bible mm -hmm. and read scriptures and then go and then vote mm -hmm. completely against his morals. I feel like we do that anyway. This is how the Democratic Party got mm -hmm. where it got. Yes, that's Sorry, true. Sorry, that's how words that got where it got. 
That's not stupid. <laughs> but I believe been... this is where the Democratic Party, because the Democratic Party wasn't always like yeah. that. But I'm just saying, this is how it got so far left. Mm -hmm. because, because people's morals started to mm -hmm. leave. We all became so self-worshipping and so um, arrogant mm -hmm. and, and um, self-righteous. Mm -hmm. And n no one thinks of them God. They'll, they'll, now, they'll use it as a meme. They'll use God as a meme. Mm -hmm. To make it look oh, like they yeah. know a lot, right. but they don't really live it. And you can see it in their pictures. Yeah. They're not doing They're it. They're not doing it. You know, and I will say this also when it comes to politics and religion and all that stuff. It does seem to be that a lot of churches now are starting to seem like a political, political pulpit. soap like, box. The pastors mm -hmm. and things are, are actually talking about news. Yeah, it's just... For ridiculous. their sermons now and stuff like that. And it's... And they're they're talking less about the, my point is they're talking less about the Bible mm -hmm. and more about the worldly stuff. I agree and then I don't. There's yeah. just some things that, I, that he said I absolutely agree. But there, then mm -hmm. again, I'm just thinking, yeah. But what you're also saying is that what we read isn't always true, mm -hmm. or what we read, read they're just people. Mm -hmm. People can lie, which is true. But then it's you're true. also people. Yeah. And you're actually this whole thing is mm -hmm. being written by people. Yeah. By people. Mm -hmm. people. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so how are we supposed to believe you? Because you're actually <laughs> acting like yeah. you. Like God gave you this letter and yeah. and told you to read it because this is the truth. But you just said maybe yeah. the Bible is not true or maybe the the Quran is not true. Or maybe that, but I am. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying, believe in this. So that would you know be, what I mean. Yeah. So I agree with him on some things. I disagree with him mm -hmm. on a, on a lot of on some other things too. Mm -hmm. I just don't. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a there's a way to live your life. I mean, clearly, mm -hmm. you know, we we all know there's a way to live your life. You know, and if you. I mean, I think you're right. Like generally speaking, we should be good to good people. Good people, yeah. Passion. There's a All general things, sense yeah. of this. Yeah. There's but, a. It's a very general. When I think of that's what I'm saying. When I think about religion, mm -hmm. I think that um, okay. you should worship the way you want. If the thing is, you should worship the what feels in your heart to how you should worship. So if you are Jew, are Jewish, I'm sure it's more of a race, right? Mm -hmm. But you should worship the way that you feel is, that you should be worshiping. So that that shouldn't be criticized whatsoever. That's all personal. That's your own personal connection, right? But Generally speaking, there are principles that you're supposed to be living by and values that you know are good. You should know right from wrong, good and evil. Mm -hmm. Like if you're pretending you don't know that, then that's that's where it kind of. I mean, it's even like up. even with the with the Jewish religion, for instance, mm -hmm. they don't believe that Jesus is the Messiah. Right. However, there are Jews for Jesus. So are, yeah. you, are you technically a Jew anymore right. if you read the New Testament? Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like the Torah is where they stop. Is well, most of the, so, the Old Testament. Yeah. So to me, it's like, are you technically a Jew? I mean, I mean, Jesus part, is yeah. a Jew, but I'm saying, are you mm -hmm. technically a Jew if you if you're saying that mm -hmm. Jesus died on the cross, but you're still calling yourself, yeah. you know? Which is the I, great I debate. That's, That's the, the great debate, though. That's the big debate, though, for many, many years, decades, about holy books. You know, mm -hmm. um, because the, it's because it's widely up to interpretation. So I'm saying like, so when people are, one people, one person can read a passage in the Bible or Proverbs or something and, and take it one way. Mm -hmm. And someone else can read that exact same thing, but be in a different place in their life. So I'm saying like, if you're in a different place in your life, what you read and what you see, it's, it can be mm -hmm. interpreted two different ways. And then there's people who are deeply religious and say, no, this is what this passage meant. And this is what you should be thinking it, it meant. So we don't, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that person's wrong either, by the way. I'm just saying that it's up to interpretation. Mm -hmm. And if that's the, that's the, I don't say beef either, but it's kind of like the clashing of heads with um, religions or people who are trying to say their religion is better than the next religion. They're mm -hmm. like, no, 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 my religion says this, and this is the right way it's supposed to be. It's like, okay, yeah, but, <laughs> but for you. Like, Jews who, who believe in Jesus don't get uh, mm -hmm. accepted by Jewish people. Right. But, I mean, you know yeah. what I mean? But, 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 is that a new religion? Yeah. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? I think the Quran was made after mm -hmm. uh, it was. It was the, they, those two religions were made before Christ. Right. Those are, I mean, um, BC. And the Quran was made AD, so it was mm -hmm. after death. Yeah. So, so the Quran is mm -hmm. not as old. Yes. And Muhammad. Yeah. Was it was later on. Right. So a lot of people don't believe in that. I guess genuinely mm -hmm. because it was not as old. I mean, every time I hear um, anyone talk about God at all in this light. Um, I'm all ears because what we really are hearing a lot of, and seeing a lot of right now is a lot of evil by devilish type stuff going on. So whenever I hear someone trying to counteract it with there is a God, I'm for that. Like I'm always going mm -hmm. to be for that. Now we can get into the ins and outs and you know dive deep into the different religions and the belief of all the religions and go into that. That's a greater debate. Mm -hmm. But I think that like, 
I, I think that if you are if you are trying to follow a path of your perspective religion I am not going to criticize it because I think that you are doing what you can to be a better person and create a better world around you. I do like what he's saying, but I do disagree with some parts of what he's saying. Yeah. And it's just honest truth. Well, I mean, I like Paul Harvey. I, always, I like really, you know, like I say about most people, it's like, I, even when I really like you, I can also disagree with you. Yeah. You know, there's always this thing. I know a lot of people, when they comment on things, they'll think because one person said one thing a long time ago mm -hmm. that that is either wrong or they disagree with, we're supposed to not like them altogether. <laughs> no. That's not how I am. I'm someone right. who, who I Listen. can agree with people yeah. I like and disagree with people I like. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Can, I can not like somebody and disagree I agree, and agree with what they're saying. Yes. It's true. Well, I, we, don't, I don't throw the baby out with the no. bath water just because they say something I disagree with. It is simply an opinion. You know what I mean? You know, the, so, a couple of weeks ago, we had like three people write comments in our section. They disagreed with, we, I think it was Candace Owens' video, Candace Owens. Mm -hmm. Anyways, disagreed with what we were saying in the video about Can, with Candace Owens. Mm -hmm. And they said, I'm unsubscribing because I'm like, wow, okay. I mean, that's fine. I'm just saying that. That's just not how I operate, you know? I always think it's funny when people announce their They're unsubscribed. Like, even when you're on Facebook, there's always somebody on Facebook. Like, when I used to go on there, there would always be, like, a friend of mine or something that would announce they're going to um, they're going to delete friends. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like, doing why, why do people like to announce stuff? Like, they, they think, like, they're, like, right. what, are you, what are you trying yeah. to get with that? Like, right. when my, I used to have a, there was a friend on my Facebook page that did that. Mm -hmm. It's time for me to clean my page yeah, I'm about clean to house. Do, I'm like well, then just do it why do you why are you making the announcement I know so when people say so, you, you, what do you think you're bringing out what you think people are baiting to see is it going to be me when, when, you people, know what I mean? when like, people say that I always go okay well god bless I always say that because I do mean that um but you know we're not for everybody so I wouldn't want you to stick around but it, it's interesting the way people shut down my, mm -hmm. that's my point in saying this it's not about people leaving but to to not want to hear other people's ideas other people's thoughts mm -hmm. other like, the way they're they're the way they're interpreting things is just like small-minded i think and i think you should open your mind a little bit more it's like kara was saying there are people that i like and i'll disagree with oh i mean i like i'm republican but i don't agree with all republicans some of them are crazy no. you know what i mean but i don't just throw it all away because i didn't disagree i mean with, i just think it's me. so funny when people of count they think like i think it's funny that people don't just act yeah like if like when i don't like something like you know um i just don't, I do it in I silence do it i do it in if silence I, if I've, I've been subscribed for places but i don't write on underneath hey i'm gonna unsubscribe to you you know what i mean like that is i'm unfriending you you're trying to get some kind of feeling out of me and right. to be honest with you i don't care i i care about funny i care about what god thinks me not you yeah. so if you're trying to get some kind of feeling out of me by saying you're gonna unsubscribe off a platform yeah it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I mean, come on. I'm, you you know what I mean? You're not talking mm -hmm. to some 12-year-old that's sitting here and needs, uh, you know... We live life. You know what I mean? If you disagree yeah. with me, and, and you know, then you're allowed to disagree right. with me. Yes. But this, this it's always fake to me when people mm -hmm. do stuff like that. This sort of, you're just trying to get a reaction. Know, you right. think somehow this is going to make... It's like, oh my God, I'm going to lose a subscriber. It's like, <laughs> no, I, I don't care. I always say, okay, well, God bless. But it just is funny to yeah, me. It I used funny. to laugh at people on my page, my Facebook that used to do that. page that used to make these declarations. Oh, I'm going to clean out my friend this list and person, stuff. Like, a friend of mine used to call it, the, they used to go, I'm going on a block party. They're going to block people. I'm going on a block party on my friend list. I'm like, okay. Okay, please. Put yourself please, on the block. Make, make sure it's me. <laughs> right. So I'm going to hear this anymore. So I really want to be. You know what I mean? Right. In fact, I'll just do yeah, it. Yeah, I'll just do it myself. You know I mean? <laughs> All right, you guys. Let us know what you think about the video. Thank you for the suggestion. As always, you guys always give us good suggestions. We appreciate it. And that's it. Um, leave some comments below. Do not to forget to like and subscribe to our channel <laughs> if you haven't already. Um, and that's it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.